Hey guys, and welcome to part four of our architectural model of our shed. And so today we're gonna to be attaching our second side of rafters. We're gonna also be attaching our ceiling joists to our shed. And I also have an additional ridge board here and you'll see why here in just one second. So first things first, let's move all of our pieces out of our way. And so now we are bringing our, our model back in. And so you can see that our first set of rafters is here and here's the reason why we're using that second ridge board. So on a normal shed, you would be placing your rafters on the side of your ridge board, right? But because this is an architectural model and for ease for you guys, we're putting it on top of our ridge board, okay? And to make it easier for you, that's why I'm gonna add this second, this second ridge board here, right? And I've marked it at two inch spacing, okay? And you can see our marks line up. And so we're gonna glue this ridge board on. I'm also gonna put some tape on here so that way it dries, right? Well, and, and also is gonna help us with to build this right now without having to stop. And then we're gonna add our second set of joists or a second set of rafters onto our roof, just like so, okay? So this is what we're gonna do right now. So the first thing that you need to do is mark out your second ridge board. This is at eight inches, two inch spacing. Okay, so two inch spacing. Then you're gonna get a piece of tape and you are going to tape that down, right? As you glue it, right? So you're gonna have your tape ready. Okay, get your tape ready. Then get your glue ready. So I do have a, I do have a dipstick here, so I'll move this out of the way. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping my, my stick into my glue, right? And then on the side of my additional ridge board, making sure that I'm not gluing where the marks are, right? I'm going to put some glue on here, right? And so I'm just adding glue onto this second ridge board. Okay, so now I've added glue. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this onto the first ridge board, making sure my marks are lined up. Okay, so my marks should be lined up directly, right, directly in line, so that way I know what that where my spacing is. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of tape, right? So I'm just gonna add some tape right here, right? And so I'm making sure I add the tape where it's not going to, I'm just gonna leave that tape loose like this because I'm gonna take this tape off, right? This isn't permanent tape. I'm just adding this tape on here. So that way, as I'm assembling this, the glue will be drying and I can still work while the glue is drying, right? Okay, so I'm gonna add my second, my second piece of tape right here. Okay, so I got my second piece of tape right here. So you can wrap it around. Just understand that you are gonna take this tape off once you once this drives. So we have that ridge board now. Now we're able to add our second set, right? And so what we're gonna do is starting from this end, right? Starting from this end, I'm just gonna start adding my rafters, okay? And so just like we've been doing before, you know, I'm gonna dip my, dip my glue in here, right? Get that one side done. I'm gonna add some glue to the other side of the rafter down here at the end. Okay, and so now I've added glue here and I have glue on, on my rafter right here. And now I'm just gonna glue it on here. Okay. So just place it on. So that's what we're doing. And the reason why we're doing this is because our rafters need to be parallel from each other, right? In order for our, our ceiling joists to be able to be used, right? So the ceiling joists are gonna go from here to here, they're eight inches long, right? 
and so they should they're going to be able to attach to your rafters right and they're going to be going from one end to the other okay and so we are going to be assembling the ceiling joists here in a second okay but let's finish up with our rafters and so what i'm going to do is just quickly add all my glue and add all my rafters on here so i'm just going to add some i'm just going to start adding glue right adding glue where it goes and so we're just going to add the glue and then i'm going to add all my rafters you're going to see how fast this goes okay and so this is part four this is our final part this may be spread out over two days okay so this is kind of also a catch-up so if you need to if you need to still build some stuff or if you want to spread this out over two days you can right so we're adding our rafters now and then we'll also add our ceiling joists okay so i'm going to add these rafters i'm just going to start going adding my rafters across right so there's one I even added a little angle on my on my cuts right here. I added a little angle to the cuts right on the ends, so that way when they met up, they would be able to, to be even. Okay, so there's all of my rafters done, right? And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ceiling joists. Okay, and so the ceiling joists. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit here. The ceiling joists are going to go from one end to the other against the rafter and they are going to be I'm going to add some glue on this side. I'm going to add some glue over here. Okay. And so they're supporting the structure, right? Making sure that the, the structure stable but they're also giving support to those rafters okay so there's one ceiling joist and then I'm just gonna follow that line down right so I've got my two ceiling joists here you can see where those ceiling joists are gonna go and so they're not gonna go on the edge they're only gonna go in the center over here now you could put you could put ceiling joists on the inside edge right on the very end right here but we're not gonna do that, okay? We're only gonna do the three center ones just to make it easier. Okay. If you have extra wood, of course you can do that. If you have extra wood, if you have extra balsa wood, you can also add whatever you want. You can build another frame and do a floor if you like. Adding our third and our third ceiling joist. Right, so you need to make sure these are cut at the right length. Okay. Okay. And so the only additional thing that you that we have to do now is would be to add our struts, right? So our struts would be going from the ceiling joists this direction underneath the rafter, okay? Now, for this architectural build, we're not gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna leave it as this. So today and tomorrow, all you need to do is complete your second side of the roof one day, and then the second day Go ahead and complete your ceiling joists okay and then you'll see a picture of what the completed model should look like and you'll be able to ask any questions at that time so i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is our architectural model of our shed so you can see from every angle right you can see how the now the ceiling joists are added to the inside edge of our rafters and then you can also see that our 
roof has the right pitch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later.